Hello, this is Daniel and welcome to the next part of the character modeling tutorial and we're going to continue where we left off. So, um, this time we'll attempt to model the head and I guess the fact that you're watching this means that this is going to be the successful attempt. I know whether I will try it or not uh, to redo this to make it better, but um, in the end you will see the, the successful version of it. So maybe let me mention that at this point. Uh, when you see someone working on YouTube or what, wherever, um, normally it's not like they're really um, this kind of perfect person who, who are able to um, create you know one masterpiece after another. Um, I think even professionals struggle quite a bit. I mean, if they have a very specific job in a, in a company or something, I guess they have done their job so often that they're used to it already. But normally, most people struggle with their works quite a bit. So I guess there's nothing wrong about it in case you're running into that wall as well and you're wondering about it. Anyways, we'll start now with the head. And um, now, to do that, I just add a new object to begin with, of course. Uh, make sure it's centered, uh, especially along the x-axis. So I do that again by pressing, sorry, I almost forgot. Uh, let me display the keys. Um, now you can follow along again. With Alt-G, you can center it. And from here on, we'll start working. Now in edit mode, I start moving things so that the origin stays in the middle of our system. Um, doesn't matter actually for now that it's a cube we will delete everything and add a mirror modifier as well so we're still in edit mode remember that we're in edit mode in this object that we created uh, but in this object there is nothing at the moment now this is a point where people struggled in my last video so I'm going to explain it a bit better this time uh, if you want to create a new vertex from nothing uh, what you do is make sure to be in vertex selection mode and then hold down control and with control held down just make a left mouse click and that will give you one single vertex uh, now you can activate here on the mirror modifier this feature again so that you see it mirrored um, now there is another thing if you have it selected and you hold down control and click somewhere it will extrude it towards there if you have uh, a selection of multiple vertices and control and click um, you will get an extrusion. Now if nothing is selected and you press control and um, make a click then a new vertex is created. So that's how it works. Now what we're going to do is basically um, follow the outlines of the head. Uh, there are two important lines that we definitely want to follow and that's a strategy that I came up with over the years, I don't know, um, I found this very useful. So my approach is to um, trace the lines, the very important ones, first and afterwards um, try to make sense out of it in, in form of a 3D model. So that way I always hope to get the best possible, um, you know, replication of the original model because making a face is not hard necessarily but making a face that looks the same as a reference is pretty hard. It's the same with drawing and various things um, at least I see it that way. Now we'll create here now the second important outline. You see I gave this one a bit of a curve and there's something to be aware of. Uh, one mistake that I did for a long time was uh, you think that this is kind of the chin and uh, that that's why you kind of want to move it to here because that's where you think that the chin stops but actually the it turns out that this is more like the cheek part and um, it's better to have it somewhere here rather f even maybe a bit more to the front um, you have to play around with that but um, it's definitely not too far to the back um, yeah, so we want to follow the outline again, something 
you can always do to make things easier is uh, to do a rough run of everything um, just to give you some geometry to work on and then just do subdivisions. Uh, by the way, I press Alt W to uh, subdivide. That's not the shortcut for you. Uh, that's again one of my custom shortcuts. If you want to uh, have a list of all my changes to Blender before I start working, go to part zero of this video in which I explain everything. Um, yeah, since so many people asked me on my last video and it seemed like it was a bit confusing, um, I thought I would make sure to mention it quite often. So, following the outline works quite well here. You see we have a bit of missing information here, so you kind of have to imagine where it's going to be. And that point again, just draw a little bit and uh, you will learn how to how things look like and you'll have much easier time modeling them as well. Uh, so in case you're really serious about modeling and you really want to um, learn a lot and be skilled, then I really recommend everyone to um, yeah, start drawing a bit more. I know, maybe you do. Um, okay, but you see already how things start to take shape here. Um, we will, by the way, let me quickly just move this to the front a bit. You see that's cool about the multi res modifier. You have still this low resolution model. You can make adjustments of proportions and things, but you have this high resolution sculpt then. Oh, well, we will have to retopologize it later, probably as I'm not happy with some of the structures, but maybe not as well because we will have to give her an outfit and you know maybe maybe it's not necessary maybe we'll just do it on some parts um, so let's try to find um, the head shape somewhere in here it's not easy but uh, again the approach of starting with a low poly count works pretty well so I then normally switch to the other side so I'm not distracted by the reference and then I start to try to make uh, sense of what I've created before. Uh, you can ignore this part here, it's a bit distracting, so in edit mode just hide it for a while with H. And then just try to make it look okay. Uh, you can unhide those then again with Alt and H. Um, but still it looks a bit weird. Um, Let's use proportional editing to move things a bit better. It seems like she's looking downwards with it, which is a bit weird. I'm trying to fix that. Um, yeah, I mean, that seems like it would work. And also, don't worry about too much about the reference here. I have the feeling that I added a little bit to less hair up here. So again, thinking about shapes is better than just following a reference the way it is. Uh, now let's finish this outline uh, with this part here. So basically just the neck. Um, seems like we have to move this a bit further. All right, and now we have a nice looking outline of everything in 3D. Um, I guess we can spend some more time on it for this part. Let's continue with some details. So, I mean, not details, you know, let's just continue with the work. Um, this loop here, I like to connect it to somewhere up here. Um, you have to decide where it's going to be this one here in the front or that one. Um, I guess I'm going to for this here. It's probably going to um, be just later on anyways. So subdivide that once and move it around. 
and something like that. Yeah, just make it smooth from all the angles and um, make it fit the shape. Since we have this here. Now, one of the things I noticed with uh, lots of people who start modeling is that when they work with a mirror modifier, they, tint, they, they tend to really make these um, the center sharp uh, for some reason. So I guess if you have the problem, make sure that this is really looking like um, a circle. So that will go pretty close from the side here. All right, um, looks good so far. Let's add a subdivision here to make things smoother. Final check. Um, as for this area around the the eyes, I'm, I think I'll move those a bit further and give this a bit of a structure. Um, I guess maybe here there will be um, like a break in the loop of the topology. Maybe this will continue to here. Uh, that's the plan. Okay, but I guess that is good enough for this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, we'll continue very soon in my next video. Until then, have a good day and bye.